Welcome to our lecture online, and here we have another fairly straightforward example. Let's solve this for the angle theta. Uh, first, we'll move the one across the other side. So we have the sine three times the sine of theta is equal to positive one. Divide both sides by three, so we get the sine of theta is equal to one-third. All right, so for what values of theta can the sine of that angle be one-third? And if we draw the unit circle, it becomes fairly apparent. Uh, one third would be in this range right here. So we can say that this here would be one third, and over there this way would be one third. So there should be two solutions, right? We have a positive angle, we have an angle here between 0 and 90, and we have an angle between 90 and 180 that would satisfy that particular solution. Again, remember when we're looking for the sine, we're looking for the y value of a point along the unit circle. Another way of doing this, we could say theta is equal to the inverse sine of one-third. And if we then use our calculator to figure out what that is equal to, okay, so one divided by three equals, and take the inverse sine, and we get 19.47 degrees. But I want to convert that to radians. I have my calculator in radian mode, so one divided by three equals, take the inverse sine of that, and it's 0 0.34 radians. So theta is equal to 0 0.34 radians. Now that would be this angle right here. Now we also want that angle there, so then theta can also be equal to uh, pi, which is 180 degrees, minus 0 0.34. So those would be the two possible answers to satisfy that particular um, equation. So, it's not as straightforward as algebra because you get an answer, you think that's it, but in this case, there's two possible answers between zero and 360 degrees, so we have to find both of those. So those are the two answers satisfying that equation.